Fortress Mountain was certainly the biggest set, but more importantly than the set is the setting, you know, for Chris. He wanted to be able to look out a window and see these absolutely beautiful backdrops of mountains that could not be achieved digitally. I was shooting a commercial the year before we began Inception, and I was up in Calgary filming. And while I was up there, Chris said, hey, keep an eye out. We're looking for a place to shoot this snow sequence. And I said, look, there's a closed down ski resort here and you got to check it out. We gambled with our location in the end where we'd been told we might get early snow because we were actually shooting relatively early in the year, in November. We had to take an early gamble because with a set as big as the one that the guy envisaged uh, for this, he had to start building in August. About a week before we went to Canada, there was no snow. The whole thing was built around snow, and so we were very, very tense. In the end, it dumped massively right before we got up there, and they had more snow than they've had for, for 30 years at that time of year, which was essential for the amount of action we had to stage there. With the action in, in this level of the dream, we wanted it to be expansive cinematic action, and for me, that place I immediately go to is the Bond films, is the, the idea of a ski chase in an exotic location, uh, an extraordinary sort of bad guys in layout, some big complex in the mountains, that kind of thing. I grew up watching these films with extraordinary stunt work in them. In recent years, I felt like I was seeing films where they didn't bother to do those things anymore, where they were immediately going to some kind of visual effects solution. Whereas all the stunt guys I, I knew who would worked with were, were chomping at the bit to, to do these things they know how to do. And so Tom Struthers, the, the stunt coordinator on the film, he really took it on board as a challenge, working hand in hand with Chris Corbell, the special effects coordinator, the guy making things work on set, they really took me at my word in terms of, okay, how can we film these things in camera? We tried to do as many things in camera as possible, which is very difficult when you're in Calgary, where it's going to be freezing cold and there's going to be extreme temperatures and extreme weather. One of the big components in this particular sequence was the avalanche. I would suspect it's very hard to do an avalanche. We went out and did several of them, which required a series of professional avalanche makers to fly around dropping time explosions on top of mountains and setting them off. It's unique working in snow. I mean, this was a week. It was fantastic. It looked like the roof of the world. I look up from my immediate task and I'm looking down a mountain range. That, it was like a shot out of National Geographic from the Himalayas. It was one extraordinary thing to be doing.